Hey everyone, for today's video, we're gonna take a look at the top 15 most awesome water toys ever made. Starting with number 15, Scuba Craft. Well, we're starting off with an especially insane water toy. Welcome to the wild and wonderful water world of Scuba Craft. What the hell is Scuba Craft, you may ask? Well, it's the love child of a boat and a submarine. Now, there are several different models out there, but they all boast one really cool ability. They're submersible. So, these vehicles are capable of operating on the surface of the water, like a traditional boat. But when the surface gets a little too bland, these bad boys can also submerge and function sort of like a submarine. So, users can explore both the surface and the underwater. And if you're wondering about safety, don't. These submersibles are typically equipped with advanced technology to ensure your safety. Scuba crafts are designed for recreational use, however, they can also be used for educational purposes, since they allow people to explore underwater landscapes and marine life in a way that snorkeling doesn't really let you. Furthermore, there's definitely a novelty aspect here, as the ability to transition from above water to below is not something most water toys offer. Needless to say, scuba crafts aren't exactly a common sight out on the water, but when they grace the waves with their submersible prowess, they're sure to turn more than a few heads. Number 14. Water-Powered Jetpacks Watching a water-powered jetpack from the shore is a sure way to evoke a lot of envy. Why? Well, because it looks like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. A water-powered jetpack is an insane recreational device that allows users to propel themselves right out of the water and basically fly above it. Riders can use the jetpack's water propulsion system, and here's how the gist of it works. The jetpack's equipped with a hose that draws water from the surrounding body of water, such as a lake or ocean, and then the water is then pressurized and expelled through jet nozzles, which creates a powerful stream of water. And as that water is propelled, it can generate enough thrust to lift the user off the water surface and into the air. The user can then control both direction and intensity of the water jets by utilizing either a hand control or body movements. Now, these water jetpacks have become increasingly popular since their introduction, and riders have learned to perform a wide range of aerial maneuvers and tricks to further wow onlookers and before strapping one of these things to your back, and it's highly advised that you undergo some training. But if you've ever coveted Iron Man and his ability to fly via his suit, then it's your opportunity to try it out for yourself, with water providing a much safer landing than cement should something go wrong. Number 13. Zorb Balls who doesn't want to walk along the surface of the water in a giant see-through inflatable ball? Well, that's the premise behind Zorb Balls. If you think these things look like a giant hamster ball, but for humans, you're not alone, since that's essentially what they are. Zorb Balls are huge inflated plastic balls that people climb inside of. Their use isn't limited to water, and they can be used on snow, ice, and grass too. But using them as water toys adds another level of fun to your next beach day. So, as such, Zorbing, as it's called, allows people to walk on water from within the safety of this plastic ball. Their popularity has spiked the imaginations of sport enthusiasts who have in turn come up with some pretty wacky games. Zorb Ball and Zorb Soccer, Zorb Sumo Wrestling for example, show off the creative ways in which these crazy water toys can be used. Zorbing has gained popularity on social media too, where people show off their Zorbing skills. And their popularity is growing as more and more people are exposed to the pop culture phenom that is Zorbing. And as Zorb Ball technology advances, only time will tell what sort of crazy, wild, fun Zorbing will bring to the water. Number 12. Sea Bobs Water toys have come a long way since the simple, and still fun, air mattress. Take the Sea Bob, for example. This electric beauty takes water fun to a whole new level by allowing people to scoot around the water. Seabob is a diving scooter that's powered electrically, all in the name of fun. It's got the ability to pull you along the surface of the water or dip below when the urge to do some underwater exploration strikes, so users aren't limited to above water exploits like they are with jet skis. Seabobs are designed to be used underwater as well. Now, if you're having dreams of racing around the water at Grand Prix speeds, well, you're unfortunately out of luck. Seabobs have a maximum speed of about 22 kilometers an hour, which is regulated by the control grip. However, that is still pretty fast for a water toy, and as for diving, well, you won't be exploring the Mariana Trench with a sea bob, but it can go to depths of around 40 meters. They're pretty quiet too, so as not to disturb the other less adventurous types who are lounging around on nearby air mattresses, and they are environmentally friendly since they're electric. With the ability to move underwater like a fish and zoom along the surface with a pretty impressive speed, sea bobs are one inarguably cool and insane water toys on the market. Number 11. Inflatable Jungle Gym 
If you've got kids, then you know all too well that magic that is the jungle gym. Few things can burn off that youthful energy quite like climbing, jumping, running, crawling, and leaping off of it, and hours of fun, jungle gyms are a go-to for parents and caregivers alike because children go nuts for the series of high-energy activities that you can do. Now, take all the fun of a jungle gym and put it on the water. You've just ramped up the fun factor tenfold. Inflatable jungle gyms are all the rage at resorts and beaches everywhere, and one look at them on the water and it's not hard to see why. Inflatable jungle gyms can come in a variety of sizes with a whole whack of different activities such as slides, tunnels, bouncy surfaces, launch pads, and climbing walls. And some inflatable jungle gyms are really elaborate and offer up hours of water-themed fun. And if you thought these inflatable jungle gyms were just for kids, well, think again. These gyms can cater to a wider age range, with some even having adult-only hours. Inflatable jungle gyms, or obstacle courses as they're sometimes called, have seen a rise in popularity with many waterfront resorts. Now, typically, a user will pay a fee to play on the gym for the allotted amount of time with a maximum amount of people on it at once. And this ensures everyone can play safely and has the chance to try out all the gym's offerings. Really, with all the variety that this toy offers, users aren't limited to just one activity, like on a water trampoline or a water climber, so boredom really isn't an option while exploring this wacky water-themed contraption. Number 10. Ultra Skiff 360 Watercraft A fun day on the water means different things to different people. For some, it's lounging around on the beach working on a tan. For others, it's extreme water sports. And for anglers, well, fun is defined in terms of fishing, of course. So this next entry has everything an avid angler could possibly want for a fun day on the water. The Ultra Skiff 360 watercraft is a crazy little circular boat of sorts that affords fishermen versatility and stability on the water. It's got a circular design, and because it is circular, the angler can have a 360-degree fishing experience. But unlike hard-body boats, the Ultra Skiff 360 is designed to be lightweight and really easy to transport. Anglers can use it to fish for both freshwater and inshore saltwater fishing. It's equipped with fishing rod holders, storage compartments, and a nice little seat in the center. Furthermore, there's no need for gas or fuel of any kind, so fishermen don't have to worry about the cost of fuel or about running out of fuel on the water. It doesn't require a trailer to pull it and can launch from pretty much anywhere, so fishermen can avoid the craziness and chaos of busy boat launching areas. It's all about convenience and affordability with the Ultra Skiff, and the fact that fishermen can use this little watercraft to access areas they could only get to by boat before is really cool. Let's face it, boats aren't for everyone, so this little circular masterpiece is actually quite ingenious. Number 9. Underwater Drone So many of us, including me, dream of exploring the magic and mysteries of the ocean's depths, but lack the scuba diving gear to do so. Bring in the drones. Underwater drones are a pretty insane concept, as these robotic devices are designed to give users a pretty all-encompassing view of what lurks beneath. They come both as remotely operated vehicles, or ROVs, as well as underwater unmanned vehicles, or UUVs. They're equipped with a whole thwack of gadgets, such as sensors, cameras, and even manipulators or sampling tools, so users can explore the underwater realm on their own terms. And yep, they've got a wide range of applications other than just leisure. They can help them learn more about underwater geology and environmental conditions, and can gather some samples. Underwater drones can be used in oceans, lakes, and rivers, so the exploration opportunities are pretty much endless. From a pleasure point of view, underwater drones can provide hours of entertainment, just as aerial drones can give us a bird's eye view of things and go places we can't easily access. Underwater drones can let us see the aquatic world that lurks beyond the naked eye. There are, of course, a wide range of underwater drones, all designed with different needs in mind. But just as an overview, the Chasing Dory underwater drone is said to be the best value. One of the most powerful is the Kai C5 fish. And those with a penchant for underwater exploration, well, then the Power Vision Power Ray Wizard gives its magic underwater. Well, if snorkeling and scuba diving aren't accessible for you, for whatever reason, or you still want to explore the wonderful world of underwater splendor, then underwater drones are a great option. Number 8. Transparent Kayaks and Paddle Boards Well, sometimes the beauty of an invention is in its simplicity. Paddle boarding has become a staple in many homes since it affords both exercise and a unique way to get out on the water. But when it comes to seeing what's under you, well, that pesky board always gets in the way. Enter the Transparent Paddle Board. Both transparent paddle boards and kayaks offer riders a really unique experience as they can see directly below them as they paddle their way along the water. 
truly zen in their design, these cool water toys offer a crystal clear picture of all the things below. As an alternative to snorkeling, using a transparent paddleboard allows you to explore all the fish and coral without all the equipment, or even the need to swim. Just imagine casually coasting along the calm waters of a snorkeling hotspot and seeing a school of fish swim right under you. And unlike see-through bottom boats, users can really personalize their experience because the paddleboards are so versatile. Transparent kayaks and paddleboards, according to reviews, give the sensation of being suspended directly above the water, as though one were flying along. With unobstructed views of the aquatic world below, few water toys can match the experience. And because paddleboards aren't nearly as cumbersome as boats, users can get up close and personal with a wider range of aquatic life, like stingrays, sea turtles, and even sharks in some areas, without putting the user at the same risk as snorkeling or swimming. Moving on to number 7, Amphibious Trailer. Why limit yourself to camping on land when you can camp on both land and water? Fair warning, this next toy might just blow your mind. Amphibious trailers are designed to go pretty much anywhere, water included. They hook up to the back of a truck in the same way that all trailers do. But when they need to hit the water, they become a small houseboat. They're easy to launch and compact so you can cruise along the water at the drop of a hat. However, let's up the ante a little bit and take a look at an even more mind-blowing water toy, the amphibious e-bike RV. B Triton has designed an RV unlike any other. It's a fully electric amphibious RV that doesn't even require a vehicle. For this reason, you can camp on land, then launch onto the water, find a new spot, and camp again. You can also access remote areas that you wouldn't be able to get to by land. Now, This electric RV can accommodate two people, and it combines the best of camping, boating, and cycling. You can literally travel and sleep pretty much anywhere, opening up a huge world of possibilities. This kind of is a revolution in sustainable travel, allowing people to witness some of the most beautiful, untouched places in the world. And those possibilities don't just stop there. The B Triton electric RV can be used for sightseeing. Instead of hopping aboard an expensive and crowded sightseeing tour boat, they can see all the same sights from the convenience of your own little RV. Amphibious trailers and RVs are poised to change the landscape of camping and outdoor recreation, providing limitless opportunities for water adventure. Number 6. Water Bikes Ah, to ride a bike. The wind in your hair, the sensation of gliding, the stunning trails and scenery, and the salt in the air? Well, yeah, if you're riding a water bike, there is. They're bikes on floaters that you ride in the water. But unlike traditional bikes, there's no paths to follow here. You can go wherever you want. There are a lot of different makes and models of these water bikes, but they're all pretty similar. They all feature a seat that's perched pretty high up off the water, pedals for pedaling since it's a bike, and some sort of flotation device to keep it afloat, like pontoons. They're often seen on lakes, slow-moving rivers, and oceans, so long as the weather is calm. The benefits to water bikes is the user can freely explore the water on the shoreline at leisure, while still getting in some exercise. And that nice high seat offers up some pretty great views, too. Furthermore, since they're powered in the same way as a traditional bike, they don't require anything but good old-fashioned pedal action. Water bikes are a great option for people who might shy away from some of the more extreme water toys. And unlike a regular bike, which takes practice to learn how to ride, water bikes are user-friendly. Virtually anyone of any age can just hop on and start pedaling. Water bike rentals are popular at a lot of waterfront resorts, as well as have many popular beaches. Number 5. Electric Jet Ski so I would be amiss if I didn't include jet skis on a list of crazy water toys, since jet skis are some of the funnest and most sought after water toys out there. But if we want to ensure that we have clean oceans and lakes to explore for generations, then perhaps we need to ditch the gas guzzling jet skis of yesteryear. Let's be real, jet skis are a hot commodity. They can be found pretty much anywhere that rents out any sort of water vehicle and toy, and their distribution is worldwide. But like cars, traditional jet skis aren't doing the earth any favors. so. Behold, the electric jet ski, an advanced water toy with all the capabilities and fun built into a traditional jet ski without the environmental damage. However, because they're electric, they produce zero emissions during the operation, and that helps keep the water they operate on much cleaner. Furthermore, these electric jet skis tend to be a lot quieter than their traditional counterparts. And since they're electric, they've got fewer moving parts than traditional jet skis, so require less maintenance. Electric motors provide instant torque, so they're really quick to accelerate, and the market for these electric jet skis continues to grow, especially as technology advances and we all become a little more aware of the environment. 
In any case, zipping around in the water on one of these electric jet skis is sure to be a memorable afternoon, and renting one well, versus a traditional one is an environmentally sound decision. Number 4. The Solo SF-150 Water skiing has been a popular water sport of choice for a really long time now, but it usually requires at least two people, one to ski and one to drive the boat. So what's a lone wolf to do? Well, the Solo SF-150's got you covered. This insane personal ski machine eliminates the need for a driver. Hell, it eliminates the need for a boat altogether. This bad boy is equipped with some pretty impressive technology. It's wireless. The way it works is a clamshell with the controls clamps onto the center handle and communicates to a small device the size of a matchbook that's embedded in the custom life vest personal flotation device. So the skier wears a special life vest with the device that communicates to the boat wirelessly. The device also acts as a safety lanyard if the skier wipes out. If the skier wipes out, the engine of the boat will cut off when the life vest is 40 inches away from it. So no need to worry about the boat taking off on an unmanned boating spree. So when the skier wipes out, the boat will actually track back to the skier, at an idle speed of course. But wait, there's more. The boat has a depth sounder, so it can sense a beach or a sandbar and will divert course in case. And the Solo SF-150 has an added new feature, the MEMS technology. This tech keeps the boat tracking on a straight course no matter how hard the skier pulls when cutting. So thanks to this new tech, skiers can run a slalom course if they want. Not a fan of water skiing? Wakeboarding more your jam? Not a problem. The Solo SF-150 unit is fully programmable for wakeboarding, wake skating, hydrofoiling, and even barefooting. So no matter your water sport preference, this crazy little water toy's got you covered. Seriously though, the ability to water ski without a driver and a boat is beyond awesome, and the technology alone gives the Solo SF-150 some pretty serious bragging rights. Number 3. The Hydrofoil Surfboard if you think the name of this next water toy sounds insane, then wait till you see what it can do. Welcome to the world of hydrofoil surfing. Now, surfing itself is one of the most challenging and exhilarating water sports on the planet. Watching surfers take on massive, dropping waves is a spectacle. But hydrofoil surfing is a completely different type of thing, although it's just as cool to watch. Otherwise known as flight boarding, hydrofoil surfing is a type of surfing that uses a hydrofoil system to lift the board and surfer up and out of the water. Now, for those not familiar with hydrofoils, they're like wing structures mounted below the board. They operate in the water to lift the entire board and the rider above the surface of the water. This design creates a unique and smooth riding experience, allowing the rider to virtually fly above the water. So let's break it down a bit more. The hydrofoil is a combination of a mast, a fuselage, and wings. The mast is a vertical strut that connects the wings to the board, and it determines the depth at which the hydrofoil operates. And the fuselage is a horizontal component that connects the mast to the wings, providing stability. Now, these wings come in all various shapes and sizes, and the shape and size will influence the lift and stability of the board. The front wing generates lift, while the rear wing helps balance and control the board. Hydrofoil surfing is distinct from traditional surfing, and it comes with its own unique learning curve. It can take a while for riders to get used to the dynamics of riding above water, but these boards have become increasingly popular because they allow riders to ride in a wider range of conditions, like smaller waves. It's described as an exhilarating experience by those who have tried it, and one look at this toy in action, and it's not hard to see why anyone with a love for wave riding or flying would want to give hydrofoil surfboarding a try. Number 2. Assorted Wacky Inflatables Over the years, we've found a lot of new ways to use inflatables. From flood protection to Christmas decorations, inflatables have an awe-inspiring array of applications. And since they float, it should come as no surprise that there's some pretty insane inflatable water toys out there. For example, inflatable kites for kiteboarding or kite surfing are pretty cool little devices that allow users to whip along the water. They're easy to transport, store, and inflate. They're just highly convenient. Water trampolines, on the other hand, aren't easy to transport, but they are just as fun if bouncing around on the water floats your boat. Part trampoline, part inflatable, inflatable water trampolines combine the best of both worlds. They allow for trampolines to stay buoyant above the water so people can jump away to their heart's content. Plus, unlike trampolines on land, inflatable tramps provide a soft landing in the water so users can bounce off the trampoline and jump in. A word to the wise though, the surface can get really slippery when wet. Just something to be aware of before you whip out an aerial stunt. For those who like their water toys with a side of rocking and rolling, then the Rocket by Aquaglide is designed for you. It's marketed as both a vessel for creative play and team building. This circular inflatable allows for eight people to crawl on board. 
The premise is that people have to work together to keep it steady, as it's designed to rock and roll, but the website mentions that it's built with commercial-grade fabric reinforced PVC material, so it's going to make it tough enough to withstand rough use. Clearly, the designers anticipated a little torrent rocking. Well, in any case, it's not clear how long someone would actually use this inflatable team builder, but the premise itself definitely leans towards the crazier side of toys. As do inflatable launch pads. Now, these water toys are literally designed to launch people high up into the air. Might sound silly, but the height that some people get from these inflatable launch pads is quite impressive. Small kids are best for launching and best launched by an adult, since it all comes down to the weight. Needless to say, there's probably some sort of waiver involved with this inflatable, since it sort of feels like an injury waiting to happen. And for those that want the luxury of a private island but can't afford the price tag, then you might well buy your very own inflatable island. Also known as party islands or floating islands, these behemoth inflatables offer up some pretty insane features. Some even come mounted on their own inflatable dock, while others, like the Best Way Cooler Z Tropical Breeze No. 3 Inflatable Party Island, have built-in lounge chairs. Need to keep your drinks cold? Well, the Airhead Inflatable Party Island comes with a built-in cooler and four to six cup holders. Plus, the Fun Boy Giant Cabana Day Club comes with a shade and plenty of lounge room. These are designed for fun. These massive inflatables are fabulous alternative to a boat, as they allow your friends to get in and out of the water for hours at a time. And should you get cold, you might want to consider a hot tub boat. Although not inflatable, hot tub boats like the Spa Cruzy hot tub boat are the perfect addition to your floating party island. The Spa Cruzy hot tub boat is self-heating, self-cleaning, and some models come with a built-in fireplace. So you can have an island party with your friends and then indulge in a hot tub party all out on the water. What's more insane than that? Number 1. Submersibles So if money's no object and you're looking to secure the most insane water toy of them all, then you'd likely purchase a submersible. They come in many forms though, from ones designed to provide tours to ones designed for personal use. However, no matter the size and the cost, they all have one thing in common. Climbing into a vessel designed to plunge deep into the water is absolutely insane. The DeepView 24, for example, is designed to go deep, but at least in this one, you're not alone. It's one of the newest models from Titan, and it can carry upwards of 24 passengers, 26 if you include the pilot and co-pilot. The Triton DeepView 24 is made of acrylic sections, and this modular submarine can take tourists down to depths of about 100 meters. The submarine has panoramic views thanks to its gigantic floor-to-ceiling windows, and they get a really good sense of what life is like under the sea. Passengers can get nice and comfortable because this submersible can remain underwater for up to 12 hours. There are, however, a wide range of submersibles designed for personal use. They vary in size with capacity of 1 to up to 5. One popular example is called the U-Boat Works Nemo, or simply the Nemo for short. It's an owner-operated sub that's currently in production. There's an option of a one- or two-seater, and seeing as how it's the same footprint as two jet skis, this insane water toy can easily fit on yachts. It features sonar, a manipulator arm, and a navigation package with GPS. It weighs in at around 5,000 pounds, so it can be towed with a price tag of just north of 600,000. It's half the price of most other personal submarines on the market. So if you're looking for a steal with your next submersible purchase, this one may offer up some pretty appealing value for what it is. And finally, for those not willing or wanting to take an actual plunge into the depths, Ego has come up with a submarine hybrid of sorts. The Ego Compact is a semi-submersible that allows people to explore underwater worlds without leaving the safety of an anchor above. The submersible is always afloat thanks to the fact that it's attached to a central floating hull, but the submerged cabin offers sweeping panoramic views on three sides, so there's plenty of opportunity to see a fair share of marine life. The floating hull itself is about 4 meters long, so users can hang out above water too. It even features a swimming platform. It is kind of like the best of both worlds, as users can oscillate from playtime above water to underwater exploration easily and safely. It's an innovative design, which is why the Ego Compact has won several awards, including the Red Dot Design Award. It's also extremely easy to operate. The website claims it only takes about 10 minutes to learn how to use this thing. Well, in any case, whether it's full-on deep-sea exploration with 23 other passengers on board, a personal dip into the Down Under, or a quick jaunt into an attached viewing gallery, submersibles are clearly some of the most insane water toys out there and will provide hours of fun if you can afford the price tag. Thanks for watching, everyone. I will see you next time. Thank you to our channel members.